Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike Tech back again with another video review slash overview for this one because I've been using it for a couple of days now. I already took it out of the box. What this is, this is a Wi-Fi router that also supports LTE, 4G, and 3G internet. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and give you just a really brief overview and review of this thing because I have been using it. That's the reason why it's out of the box. And that's also the reason why it's plugged up right now. You can actually see the lights blinking on the front of it. So let me just go ahead and give a really quick overview of this because there is no videos of this online that I can find out. So I just thought to myself, you know what, let me just go ahead and make one real quick. So first of all, the model number of this thing is a WG3526. 4G. It uses a, uh, a LTE modem. The name of that modem is the EC25A. Um, it is the US version. They do have a, a UE version, a European version, which uses a different type of modem besides the motor that comes inside this thing. It does have a MTK7621 um, CPU, supports up to 800 megahertz. Uh, all four, well, all five, yeah, all five of these internet ports right here on the front of this thing does support gigabit internet, which is the main reason why I bought it, because I do have a router already. But the thing about that router, it does not support gigabit, and I want a gigabit, and this one right here does. So that's a good thing right there. It also has a USB 3.0 um, port right there in the front, micro SD card, which, you know, supports pretty much extra storage. I guess you can access this over the internet. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe you can. On the, and on the inside of this, it does have a, uh, a SATA um, port, which allows you to use something like this, uh, a SATA hard drive, a SSD, or maybe a regular hard drive, doesn't really matter. Why won't this thing focus? Focus, whatever. Uh, there's lots of glare because I'm using the light above me. I just I didn't have time to set up the other lights, but whatever though. Um, it, it allows you to use a SSD. This is a 250 gigabyte SSD, so you can just take the top of this off. You buy an adapter and you put the SSD inside of this thing right here, and you can just access storage over the network, which is pretty useful. Uh, it does have uh, besides 2.4 gigahertz and besides the LTE, it also has 5 gigahertz as well AC. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think 5 gigahertz supports up to 1 gigabit internet speeds, I think. I'm not sure. Probably does. I have to go and read this thing real quick. But whatever, though, I'll do it later. Um, what else does this thing here have? LTE. Let's talk about the LTE. So the SIM card slot right there on the side. Uh, right now, I am using a at and uh, network, which is, is complicated because it's not exactly lt &T. So... The people who provide me with the internet service is called NetBuddy. So I'll leave a link at the bottom if you want to go and check out their website. But the name of the, the their name is NetBuddy. They use a LTE, uh, they use the signal from uh, AT&T uh, cell phone towers in order to provide their customers with the LTE internet access. So that's how I'm getting internet right now. That SIM card is already inside this router. You see it there. Uh, it only supports one SIM card at a time. There are some of these, not this same exact brand, but there are some of these that do support uh, two SIM cards, and you can switch between them both. This one does not support that. But if you want to, you can get that. It's going to cost you a lot more money than what you pay for this. This, by the way, retail price, at least $200. I have seen them a little bit more expensive, but they're around $200. Uh, I bought this one here off of Amazon. I'll put a link at the bottom if you want to go ahead and buy that. Um, what else? What else does this thing have? Um, the software is... Uh, let me double check real quick because I don't want to give you wrong information. Okay, so the software it supports is OpenWRT software. Um, there are different firmwares for this or different operating systems or softwares, whatever you want to call it, for this. Um, the one I'm running on it now is the one that it did not come with. I'll put a screenshot of the one that I put on here. The one that it came with, uh, let me take that. Let me see if I can find it actually. I think there's a screenshot here. Yeah, there is. Let me pull that up. Okay, so this is like a screenshot. I'm showing you this off of my phone, the Amazon page where I bought it from. But, um, 
that's a screenshot of the software that it comes with right there I hope you guys can see that good enough I don't know but the reason why I'm not using this one is because in order to connect to LTE with my carrier I had problems with my carrier I don't know about your carrier it might be different I do have a different SIM card I did not have problems with that other SIM card only with the carrier that I'm using right now so it depends on what carrier you're using you may or may not have to switch firmwares or softwares depending on that carrier but the software that came with this did not support the protocol that was necessary to connect to my carrier so because of that I had to change it and I'm using different software on this now it's not the software that came with it I'll put a screenshot of that on the screen right now okay there you go that's the that's the screenshot of the software that I'm using right now um what else can I talk about this thing besides the fact that it's LTE supported um it does have gigabit I already went over that already um uh, what else what else the antennas that come with this thing it does come with four antennas one two three four uh, all four of those antennas there are 5 dB high gain antennas I have tried using different antennas with this haven't really seen too much of an improvement with these with other antennas I'll actually show you one right here this is one of them right here this supposedly claims to be a 7 dB antenna it does have magnets at the bottom so you can stick it up there like that which is cool so yeah but it claims to be a 7 dB antenna I'm testing it I don't know if it really is a 7 dB antenna but I'll get back to you on that later on I, I, might, I may or may not do a review of this one right here too and then on top of that I also have another antenna that lots of people have been talking about they say it's pretty good but I haven't really seen too much from this exactly to be honest with you um I don't know what to really say about this it's it's okay I haven't really seen too much of an improvement with these but it's whatever maybe I'll, I'll do another review on that one there too maybe in the future but I think some of that problems might be with the actual modem that's inside this thing uh, I know for a fact you can actually change out the modem inside this why do I know that because I've actually did it I changed out the modem in this the LTE modem okay I changed that out for a different modem that modem sucked so I sent that back and now I think I might be getting another modem in the future that may be faster than the one that's in here so if I do I will do another video on that and show you how to install it and show you how to uh, I'll do like speed tests and all that other stuff just to show you how it works but uh, I'll see um, if you're going to buy something like this which to be honest with you I kind of recommend but you just have to find a really good internet company to provide you with the AT to provide you with the uh, LTE but if you are gonna buy something like this I recommend you buy it from not Amazon anywhere else but Amazon because I do not like the modem that comes inside this thing that they give you whenever you buy it with uh, Amazon I do not like the um, what's the name of this modem the EC 25A I do not like that modem. I don't think it's fast enough. I think there's better modems out there. If you are going to buy it from Amazon, buy another modem to go inside this. They do have other modems on Amazon that are way faster than the one that comes with this. So I am going to do that. I'm going to do an upgrade video and show you all about that. Um, what else can I talk about besides this thing? 12 volts does come in a wall adapter. Uh, it does come in instructions. The instructions are really basic. By the way, the box right there. That's the box, that's what it looks like. It's the sides, front, uh, other side, a little sticker right there. It's not going to focus for some reason. Oh, there we go. Sticker, uh, other back of the box, bottom of the box, whatever. So it's a box. So let's open this box here up. Let me show you what it comes with. Instructions, very simple instructions. I'm not gonna show you the other side because I have uh, passwords and stuff written on there. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you that side. What I will show you though is that's that side, the inside part, and let me show you the other side. 
So it's basically like a one page instruction sheet. Very basic, it just tells you how to turn it on, tells you how to connect it and all that other stuff. Uh, the SIM card that I'm using. I'm not using the LT, I'm not using the AT&T um, service, I'm using a different service by NetBuddy. Once again, they are providing me with the 4G, but it comes from AT&T's towers. AT&T's um, cell phone towers, that's how I'm getting the LTE, but I'm paying a different company. So it's confusing how that works, but yeah. So yeah, that's the that's a SIM card. It does take, uh, I think, regular SIM cards. It does not take nano. It does not take micro. Uh, it takes regular SIM cards. And if you do not have one, it does come with an adapter, which I will show you in the next couple of minutes. It does come with these uh, anchors, I guess you can call it. I don't know. I guess they provide this so you can like put it inside of a server rack or something, I guess. I don't know. But it does come with that. That's nice. Uh wall screws or anchors and then you got the the screws there so they look pretty cheap to be honest with you i don't really think these will actually hold up anything but whatever it comes with it so i'm not gonna you know uh say nothing bad about it because it does come with it this is the sim card adapter that it does come with it comes with like a little sim removal tool um different sim card adapters it is upside down inside the packaging so that's the reason why you can't see the rest and the one that goes here is actually inside the router right now because this router is on and I am using it. So the one that goes here, inside there. So yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead real quick and do a really quick uh, speed test. So let's go ahead and load that up. And once again, sorry about the glare. This is the speeds that I was getting before. Just to give you an, an idea of where I live. I do live in uh, Miami. So I don't know. Maybe the maybe you might get better speeds where you are at. Because maybe they upgraded the cell phone towers over there. I don't know about the cell phone towers over here. But there you go. That's, that's where I live. That's what to expect in Miami. Let's go ahead and go for another test. It's loading up. Those speeds are not good at all. Oh, that is pretty bad right there. I was getting faster speeds in the daytime. I don't know why I settled down. Uh, maybe everybody's on the internet or something like that. But that's uh, download speeds. And this is upload speeds. Upload, I have been noticing way faster. I wish I got upload speeds as my download speeds, to be honest with you. For upload speeds, I can get up to like 17 megabits a second. And then download speeds maybe five the best i got was eight so that's what to expect there so you got 29 milliseconds for the ping which is actually really good 29 milliseconds that's not bad at all and then download speeds is 2.5 uh 2.95 and then upload is 5.30 so it's whatever but i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna show you some of the other speeds that i've gotten throughout the day and I'm just gonna so those are the two speeds that I took like right now so that was the one you saw on camera and this was the one before camera and then this one here the one was five megabits download eight megabits up that's okay uh, this one here sucks again this one here is not bad okay terrible okay 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 yes whatever terrible so yeah those are just some of the the speeds right there and I'm just gonna do a really quick comparison I'm gonna go here take my Wi-Fi turn that off and I'm gonna show you what I get over the phone so let's go back let's go here oh what the hell why do I keep pressing the wrong button okay so now we are going to use the LTE that's inside my phone this phone right here this is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Okay, this isn't even a new one. This is the old one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the go button. It tells you I'm using Cricut. That is my cell phone provider if the camera wants to focus. AT&T, Miami, Florida. And look at my download speeds. Crazy. Way more faster than the router that's sitting down there. I think that might have to do with the actual service. I don't think that's the router. 
because those router this router can support up to I think is a I think they say it's like 150 megabits download speed and 50 megabits upload speed through LTE. So technically I should be getting that speed, but I think it's the actual service. But um anyway though, the phone can get me up to 8.70 and then upload speeds is two. So I have I think it has a lot to do with the actual cell phone tower. I don't really think it's this. So I think uh, right now this is a really good purchase. If we need something that supports LTE, I would get it. Mainly because of the gigabit internet ports that are on the front of this thing. That's the main reason why. There isn't too many LTE uh, Wi-Fi routers that have the gigabit internet ports. Most of them have Wi-Fi, but not a lot of them have the, the gigabit ports on the front, which is really, really good if you got like a TV or a router or not a router, but like a, a desktop computer that you need to route a cable to um it also supports a uh, usb and sd card and don't forget about the ssd that you can put inside this thing so this right here honestly i think is a good buy as long as you have a really good internet service in your area if you have really good lte in your area don't mess up on this you know go ahead and purchase it uh it works i don't really see any problems with it. i've been using it for maybe like a couple weeks almost a month and you know i'm not going to return it i'm going to keep it so yeah there you go that's gonna be the end of this video slash review and i'm probably gonna do follow-up videos to this i probably might uh do another video showing you doing a review on these antennas that i have behind me but uh that's gonna be it for this review slash overview so yeah peace out